I want to be talking about um, um, why I use multiple planners and notebooks. Uh, but first of all, if you are new to my channel, I want to say you're welcome and I appreciate your time, taking time out to uh, watch what I have here in, in this video. Um, um, uh, I'm grateful you're here and I am hoping that what you're going to learn from this uh, um, video today would be most helpful for you in making your decisions about um, how to use your plans and notebooks and how many you need or do not uh, need. Yeah, so very quickly, I want to just uh, using multiple planners. I only wanted to use um, one planner fits all. Um, yeah, and but along the line, I discovered while using um, one planner for every of my uh, I, every aspect of my life that whole planner would not fit all for me it wouldn't just cut it for me um reason being that um first off i am working in into five job uh i also have my blog my youtube i have my life you know i have a household to take care of and uh, i have um yeah, I am quite um, committed in my church, you know, I have a lot of activities in church and, you know, I am running my um, postgraduate program, I am a master's program and so, you know, I have a very busy, busy life, a very busy schedule and if I had to put everything in one planner, ah, my gosh, one month would be so, so bulky and um, I also, also notice or realize eventually that it wouldn't be a good idea to include my personal uh, life in my um, work planner and that wouldn't be a good idea in case I needed to you know go through my pl my work planner with a colleague or something like that and as a result I began to you know experiment with uh, other planners and notebooks and discovered that um, it would work much better for me um, that way yeah, so this video is just to explain to you what's led me to an, uh, using multiple planners and notebooks and how I actually use them, how I portion my activities into each one of them. It's not really to uh, flip through my planners. Well, I might do that very briefly, but that is not the idea for this video. Yeah, so first off, I'm going to show you my work planner. Uh, before I continue, let me quickly say here that um, I, when I was about to begin, um, you know, using my um, plan functionally, I was fortunate to come across a YouTuber who um, uh, advised that when you want to start planning, it's not a good idea to um, uh, splodge on planners. You know, we have so many uh, brand name planners out there and they are quite pricey like the Philofax, the uh, Kate Spade, um, the Han, others like the Ch uh, Happy Planner, the Erin Condren, and um, so on. So she advised it would be a good idea to, you know, go cheap, look for the cheaper ones, even if they are without um, name brands, just to try out until you discover what works um, for you. That was, that's one that would be very valuable advice for me, because honestly, I do not really see any good reason after trying out the planner I'm working with why I need there to splodge. I honestly I'm saying I'm not going I may not splodge. There is a chance, high chance of it happening one time or the other. But I am saying that because there is this one um that has you know and the reason being that um it's going to serve multiple purposes for me. The idea for my wanting to purchase that particular um, planner, what is because I intend to use it as my um, uh, cash envelopes, that's to change it, use it rather as my cash envelope stem. That is the major reason I am thinking of it. You know, it's going to serve a lot of good purposes for me. That is why I'm thinking of it. It's not something I'm, I'm going to uh, invest in very soon, but I know it is in my future. Yeah. When I got my first uh, planner, this was my very first planner. It has no name whatsoever on it. There's no brand name on this guy. And um, it was 
actually intended to do it, not just a work planner. It's my work planner right now, but that was not the only intention. I intended to use it for my work plan and also for um, every aspect of my life until I discovered that one planner would not work for me. Yeah, so I got this one. It has no name, brand name whatsoever, but the leather looks quite okay and it's held on since I started using it. But for uh, a work planner, the insects were just okay to serve me very well. And I cannot say I have not um, successfully used it. I really, really have enjoyed using it. It has served its purpose well. Yeah, just a quick look inside of it. I'm not going to do spend much time on it. Now, it has, it came with a calculator uh, and this has really made life a whole lot easier for me you know so it's like compact it's an a5 planner first off it's an a5 planner and it's a six ring uh, binder and um, it has pockets for cards right here and it has a flap behind which you can fix in things like a mini jotter or a notepad or anything like that as you can see here at the moment I have stuck in some piece of paper I don't want to throw out until I have revisited um, them and I also have this card of um, uh, stickers that I purchased for um, as a planner accessory yeah so these I just quickly tucked in, be in behind this flap or pocket or whatever name you think it should be called yeah now if you can see it out here agenda and personal I don't really know why this personal is here um, unless this particular um, company called this their personal size otherwise I would think that this is actually an A5 um, size and then also maybe also this personal probably de um, depicts the fact that it is um, meant for you as, as an individual to use I don't know I can't really say why the personal is in out here. Now this um, planner comes with uh, page dividers and tabs and uh, the sections we have, we have the monthly section first off, then we have next to that the weekly section where I am very very busy at and if you notice I also have um, post-it sticker notes on there for extra information that um, I needed to work on and also whenever I was I am I was done with a task I used my marker and strike through that um, task to show that task has been uh, completed this is how I have been using my um, work planner it's looking very very busy reason being that actually at this time it wasn't just for work my personal um, activities were also included um, here and honestly, the kind of job I do, even without my personal information or planning being in here, it will still have been quite busy. So the more reason why I needed to separate it, my work um, plan from other aspects of my life. Yeah, so after um, the weekly section, you have the today section, talking about the specific uh, day. And after that, you have the notes section a section for you to take down notes and all of that and after the notes section you have the address section and the address section is calibrated as a contact section and address is actually calibrated according to in alphabetical order according to um, uh, enable you to organize your contacts information alphabetically then right at the very back there's still a little more um, extra space for more um, notes as you can see here and then towards the end i did a uh, diy pvc um, envelope um, zip envelope i just used my six hole um, punch and they punched in six holes and just inserted them inserted it right in here and inside of it i put my sticky notes uh and the mini um, sticky notes there too and i also have my um, flash drive of course this is a um, planner so you of course you should expect to see things that have to do with uh, um, 
um, and then it also has a pen loop it is quite plain just have the pen loop at the back I had actually taken out pen any pen would do just for this one so let me just slot this in yeah just that and um, you're good to go so this till now is still my work uh, planner and it's been it's really serving me very very well then after my work planner the next app I'm going to show you um, is my household uh, planner. This one is a B5 size. It is a B5 size. Um, and um, actually, I did not buy this particular binder. It's a three ring binder. I did not purchase one. There was some time years ago when I had registered for a distributorship, um, you know, to work from home. And um, when I registered, this particular binder came along with the starter pack and it's been lying idle in the house for a long time. So when I began this planner journey, I just remembered I actually have some um, binder covers that are empty and uh, could be put into good use. So what I did was I went online, the inserts here and the original inserts, I went online and uh, searched for free printables for uh, planner printables and got a few that i felt could use for household planning and that's what i printed down for the right size for this planner and put in here i think i still to do a little trimming because i noticed this is a little bit uh, still a bit bigger than not too much do but slightly bigger than this um, B5 size. Actually, mistakenly printed them in A4 and then tried to trim them down to size. Yeah, you can see here that it has the section for um, either driver's license or identity card. Then it has slots here for cards. And then it also has the flap behind which you could set insert a, a mini notepad or anything else you feel like receipts and so on. You feel you should keep in here if necessary now this very first um page i love so much the uh, person who put this um goals together is a, actually a, a goals page and whoever designed this did a, a great great job the way it's so um broken down is so so useful and i see myself continue to use this for long time to come i i i, I honestly do not think i might get something better maybe there is but this person did a whole a lot of a lot of thinking into this design it actually goes for 2018 and then the first section here is talking about my focus for 2018 my major focus i guess the mean and that's what i'm doing with that section then the next is the spirit my spiritual goals then it has my family goals then it has my personal goals and then my financial goals it also has here my health goals, here my marriage goals, and right here career goals. So I, that's why I said it's quite elaborate. And you just need to open up to this page and at a glance you can have a look and know the areas you are making progress and the areas where you are actually lagging behind. So this person did a huge, huge, a good job, a great job in designing this uh, goals page. The next I have a year at a glance. So what I usually do here is just to circle out important uh, dates, dates that are worthy of notes, like birthdays, um, important events and appointments. That's what I just do with this page. Then the next one I have my annual budget. It's a good idea to budget for the whole year from which you can break your um, budget into uh, months to achieve what you want to achieve for the year. Yeah. Um, after that, I have the month at a glance. Um, fortunately, they come in empty um, in box form, so I can easily quickly write in any appointment or something I need to, to, to um, do or take note for a particular day. And the advantage of this month at a glance is I could just quickly open up to this page and have a quick look to know if there's any space to slot in any other appointments or to find out if there's something coming up uh, that I need to prepare or plan for. Yeah. 
then after that we have the debt um, worksheets the debt worksheets where i put debts right list out the debts i need to pay off on and as i paid them off i strike through them i just realized that there's some i'm yet to strike that i have paid for I, i'm sure which i need to um do after this video yeah then the next is my bank account details section which on i have uh, written in at all at the moment and then we have the notes section i at the moment i feel there are more insets i need to include in the household like um chores and all of that so i have actually got um inserts i have found online as well that i'm going to i have downloaded them already i'm going to print them out and you know add them up because i'm intending to make this uh, household planner be as concise as possible uh, for me so in the next uh, notes section i had started planning financially in the notes section but um while i was doing this i realized i needed to have my financial planner separate and on its own it wouldn't do to be in this same binder and that's exactly what i did i got a notebook a good notebook which i have started transferring my financial planning um, into at the moment yeah at the back i have just this um these are old sorry these are old shirts that um actually came with the original um binder I, i'm still keeping these particular ones because they guide me for um correct measurements that's why i still keep them in here and you can also see uh, okay there's also the notes section too you can also see i have this same diy pvc envelope pouch here and right inside it i have just my um sticky uh, post-it sticker and then there is a um, pen loop as well in this one so this is my um household planner the next i'm going to show you is what i call my war binder as a christian i believe in uh, my bible study and um, prayers and all of that so um it's actually um, some people call it faith planners me i call it my uh, war binder i've heard some youtubers call it that way too. and i think it actually does make sense to call it the war binder i started being a bit more uh, a little more creative with my um, war binder if you can see i love this fish and dolphins on the uh, reflective uh, pvc uh, front cover or rather back cover and uh, i started you know playing around with uh, my planner stencils my uh, sti uh, stickers and um, washi tapes um, as well as my gel pens so you can see i started doing a little <laughs> designs on this one yeah and i wrote out freehand war binder with my gel uh, pen and you know drew a key with my stencil a uh, planner stencil i also um used my i bought some index tabs then and i used them to separate the uh, notebook this is like i said in case i didn't mention this is a notebook i just used my um, index tab to separate them into um, the sections which i i needed and they were just three sections so i have the study the bible study section then i have the prayer um section and then i have at the back the gratitude section yeah and at the moment i'm actually operating the soap method for my um, bible study uh s o a p s for scriptures for observation a for application and p for prayers you know when you start um, your study your s you write out the scripture your o you write out what you have observed in the scripture your um a you write out um how the scriptures and observations apply or how you can apply them to your life and p you write out your prayer concerning the scriptures your observations applications in your life so as you can see i was a bit um you know a creative sort of um in my war binder you know something to make me want to come back here over and over again yeah so that is what i've been doing with this one yeah so this is my war binder or what some people call their faith binder then also i'm going to show you um my financial planner and this is my financial planner this way i do all my money planning 
actually just acquired this um, book like I had told you I had started my financial planning in my uh, household binder and I'm in the process of transferring the information into my new found beautiful notebook I really love this notebook and most of all is because it's quite voluminous these are 200 pages and it has very wide rings right so it makes the pages turn over quite easily and this is uh, a PVC back cover as well and of course it's a book so it has um, a section a semester um, details section right here then I now drew outlines on each page I write them out per month I draw draw out three columns I have the budget column the actual column and the balance column so when I am making my budget for each month I put what I'm budgeting for that to spend for each uh, expense for that month and then I have the actual records what I actually spent eventually and um, a balance section the difference between the budget is what I have as a balance or the variance now what I did I have the first four um, lines have um, the summary of my income expenses bank charges and savings um, I usually only fill in the income pass at the beginning of the new month towards the end of the uh, month I'm able to get the total expenses bank charges and uh, savings now after that I have um, my bills section this I pay off once a month like my house rent I send some stipend to my parents every month I have my um, covenant seed the Christian I give a covenant seed it's my own decision to God besides my tithe I also have my tithe separate which is uh, a command not uh, optional of course 10% for Christians and then I have my target savings now this target savings is different from my actual savings because for my target savings uh, they are automated you know because I they are actually sinking funds um, funds that are geared toward the particular, some particular expenses and to enable me save for them I automate them to be deducted from my savings account every month uh, for this year I have just two um, sinking funds um, project or what I'll call target savings or automated savings and that's my Christmas savings and my um, what I call my outpouring conference um, savings the outpouring conference my church has them um, an annual international conference once in a year and usually holds either the first or second week of November so the um, pouring conference savings would terminate in October so I could withdraw and then be ready for the outpouring conference and the savings is geared towards enabling fund my transportation my accommodation my feeding and to also have extra money to um, purchase some souvenirs which are very very um, much going to be there then the second one my Christmas savings automate uh, ends in uh, November so that I can withdraw them and make my December for Christmas and um, spending then I, um, I also have the my phone bills uh, utilities cable TV internet my subscription and then dues I belong to a women group that pay monthly dues so that is what I do these are actually things I spend of uh, once off in every month now below that now I now have my categories now for the folks who are, are not aware of the cash envelope system I would suggest you uh, take a look at my video on the um, cash envelope system I try to explain how I use the cash envelope system yeah so these are categories for my cash envelope system right down there then I also have something I didn't mention the thrift um, savings I also belong to which um, uh, actually accrues interest to me at the end of every one year that is the reason I actually joined that particular thrift uh, savings so if you notice I have different types I, of ways I am saving money I have the normal savings account then I have the automated uh, or target savings and then I have the thrift uh, savings the thrift actually brings in uh, money for me that is why I like that particular one then also if you notice at the very bottom here I have uh, the debt um, section the reason why I put the debt right down there is because I'm working towards being 100% debt free eventually and 
the I, uh, the idea of putting the dead section right down here is so that it's like saying, guy, you are on your way out of my budget because in a short while you won't even be in that page, right? That is my own way of telling myself you are working towards getting this guy kicked out of this uh, budget uh, planning eventually. That is why I that is my personal way of telling me uh, this guy needs to go eventually. Yeah, when all debts have been uh, paid. Yeah, so this is how I use my financial planner. I'm going to probably elaborate better on it or demonstrate it more, much more in a separate uh, video. Yeah, then also here is this baby, compact, small baby. This is where I do my brain dumping. I do my brain dumping in this place. And because of its portable size, it actually serves well as a brain dump because it can go practically everywhere with me. It can fit into in uh, even in uh, um, almost all my purses, no matter how small they are. And it comes with elastic and pen loop, and this pen also came with its mini pen, which is uh, refillable when it uh, runs out. Now at the back of this uh, leather-bound. Um, um, a notepad you have a slot here where you could stick in things if you need uh, to at all then when you open it up you see that it has slots for cards in case you want to put your cards in there you know and it has other uh, pockets to put in more things now the beauty of this is that when the uh, notepad is filled you it's refillable or replaceable just to pull it right out from here right then put back a brand new uh, notepad that you either uh, purchase or you make and you have a brand new brain dump yeah so this is what i love 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 using for my brain uh, dump yeah so these are my functional planners at the moment and notebooks as well yeah before I forget, there is this new notebook I purchased and it's actually written here, Office B5. I actually purchased this with the intention of using it for my business, as my business uh, planner. And one thing I love about this particular notebook is that it comes um, with PVC uh, style page dividers with tabs. It's already helped me to separate the pages into five section i guess five or six sections right so i'm um, thinking it would be a very good idea to use this for my business my blog my youtube my podcast uh social media and whatnot so i really really love that it comes pre um divided i really, really love that idea a lot and wow i love this so i I'm going to start using it for my um, business as my business uh, planner. Yeah. Now I'm going to quickly show you orders I have purchased and um, still trying to make up of my mind how I'm going to use them eventually. Like I have this guy here, this wonderful um, notebook. It's quite glittery, glittery, um, black and silver. Um, should I say black with some um, silver um, dust uh, on it? Really, really nice. And it's actually uh, PVC back cover. That's what I love about it. Uh, and these are refillable notebooks. When it gets um, filled out, filled up, all you need to do is take out this um, um, old notebook and put back, put in a, a notebook, and you are. You keep your um, your back cover and still maintain its beauty. Yeah, so I really, really, really love this one. It's called Good uh, Books. You can see the glitter in it, almost marble-like. The way it looks and glitters. Yeah. Then also I have this um, Midori Midori Traveler's Notebook which I am still trying to make up my mind what I want to do with it. Uh, I'm still at this moment not very sure because something tells me that I could use it as my personal planner. I already have some printables I have 
you know download it and print it and add it to the notebooks that are already in i haven't really put them right in i've never put, i've not put them in properly yet but um i am thinking this might turn out to be my personal uh, planner because along with this they are both compact in size so i could just put them in my handbag and i have my two babies with me so when i need to do brain dumping i have a brain dump um, notepad here and when i need to go through my planner my personal plan i have it right here with me this is what i am thinking to use this midori travelers notebook for and i have this um a6 uh, planner um, binder i bought that i am not very sure at the moment what i want to use it for so well we shall see eventually what i will use it for but for now i'm still undecided about it i was thinking be my personal planner uh, well at this point i don't know it's same size with uh, midori so i don't know yet but one of them will eventually be my personal planner yeah one of them would be my personal planner and then um i also have this just to show you guys i have this um planner uh cover a binder cover that's over 15 years old it's black well worn it's been lying in my uh, bookshelf for quite some time and when this plan crease started i remembered i had some things that i could use without having to uh, um, buy so i got this out and it's quite worn and the inside shows the wear but um i love the pattern the design that's why i'm still going to keep it and make good use of it i just need to get inserts for it and of course when the inserts are here the wear will not be so obvious it has the section for driver's license or id card a section for so many cards here then it has this section this point for other things you want to put in and right below that one is another pocket here and on this other side you have another pocket here i love the fact it has so many pockets i love pockets it has another pocket right here and on this side it has a pocket that is closed with a zipper right on this side yeah so in case you have things you want to put in that you do not want to drop and then it has the pen loop right here so i am not very sure it's what i would use this to use this for and it's actually called theovio i don't know if it's a name that is um a brand name that is well known or not um, i actually bought it used so I don't really know for sure what or what exactly where exactly it came from. But the name here is Theoville. Theoville. I hope I can get that pronunciation right. Theoville. That's the name on it. Yeah. So those are how uh, I'm planning at the moment and uh I just felt it would be a good idea to let you know, guys know that um, it's okay if you need to use multiple planner notebooks. There's nothing um, worried about it. There's nothing abnormal about it. It just depends on your um, lifestyle. I am a very busy person. I work a 9 to 5 job. And uh, besides my um, business and, uh, um, and uh, education, I, I'm running my master, like I said and also uh, my church activities and all of that i have a really 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 busy lifestyle so one planner certainly cannot work for me but if it works for you why not so uh thank you guys for watching me run through my uh, planners and notebooks um uh if you like what you have seen so far i would love you to give this video a thumbs up and click um and subscribe button and if you want to get notification about alerts about um, new videos as they are uploaded why don't you click on the notification button so that you are alerted at this point i also want to um, suggest to you guys or invite you guys to stop by my blog 
um, jawpreneur.blogspot.com and see um, the wonderful posts that are going up there um, um, periodically. And I guess there will be a thing or two that you could learn from uh, my blog as well. And I would also solicit that you um, drop your comments in my blog and that require response. I'll do my best to respond to them. But let me state out here, please, no trolling. No trolling, please. No trolling. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, uh, please, 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 please subscribe. Um, press the like button and um, see you in the next video. This is Joe Preno, your girl again. Bye.